Okay, so this time I'm going to be showing off the um, enable automatic updates button on the on the up on Wandering Drift. So let's just open it. All right, and it's going to say yes always. All right, and it's going to download the update just like before. Gonna download the update. Yeah, it takes a while, doesn't it? Normally you do other things while you wait for it to download. Oh, also I may make a little notification sound. It's one that's built into Windows. I just made play it. See, so you just heard it. Oh, I don't say download compute. Right. But then, right, but then next time you open it, if there's an update available, it won't even ask you if you want to download it, it'll just download it. And it won't play that sound afterwards, it won't say I downloaded it done, it will just straight up open the program afterwards, it's like... Which you should be able to see soon. Come on. <laughs> what are we done to there we go. See it tell didn't ask me if I wanted to if I wanted to open and like it didn't say update done, it just straight up opened the program. So yeah, those are two options. And then to turn it off, um you have to actually have four point four points, um yeah, zero point four. You have to actually have zero point four in order to turn it off, but you probably will, because when this is released, you will have 0 0.4, oops, wrong, 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 game maker file. Whoops. <laughs> uh, how do I do that? Or how do I do that? <laughs> okay, um, if you have 4 point if you have 0 0.4, which you probably will if you have this update button, because it's not going to be it's going to be released at the same time as 0 0.4. Um, this is going to you should be able you have an option to turn it off, to turn off the auto update and to turn it on from within the game itself.